Hey guys, I don't know who this is for, but we're gonna pick from behind here. I heard I will not lose. So some of y'all don't want an egotistical maniac, okay? Y'all may be saying that your damn self. I will not lose. You know, I don't know, but whatever the case may be, somebody is saying they will not lose, okay? So we're gonna see who's saying that. These are gonna be uh, readings on what's blocking your energy, whether it's you whether it's a um, divine masculine you're in separation with, whether it's a karmic, some we are doing some, whatever the case, we're gonna see what's blocking your energy. And we're gonna pull it from behind here to see what sign is up next. We already did Scorpio and we already did Pisces. Okay, let's see. Third house, Gemini. That came out before like that in that sequence. There was just one sign missing. Gemini, get your ideas going make, by making the right connections. The idea in question. Ooh, Jimmy. Lord, no your be. I will not lose, okay? And everything is a question. You hear me? Lord have mercy on Gemini. Let's see what they got to say. And what is blocking Gemini? Spirit, is it them? Is it something outside of themselves? Help us to see into this thing. feel upside down and ungrounded. Y'all got a ground down energy. Some of y'all are trying to become writers, are writing, are being inspired to write. Some of y'all are conjuring some shit to happen just so you have something to write about. I mean, I'm not about to go into y'all muse over mine. I just want to see what's blocking y'all energetically. Some of y'all got some shit going on. Some of y'all in the public eye being slandered, all kind of shit. Yeah, man. Some of y'all are creating this dynamic so that y'all can basically, yeah, y'all doing some shit Pisces was on when they recognized that they was on and they changing their ways because they realized that they were their own worst enemy and they were the creators of their own misery for real. Yeah, the devil made me do it. No. Nah. Oh, no, 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 Jimmy. Night of Blades. Let's see. The devil made me do it. Sure. Night of Blades. Oh, God. Turn to the wrong one. She's intelligent and aggressive. Knight of Hell who leads an uprising. A sadistic Knight of Hell who leads an uprising against whoever. Some of y'all may be starting some shit on y'all job, causing some type of uprising. The Knight of Blades represents an impulsive figure who steps and takes action when others falter. If you find yourself stalling or putting something off, this tarot card advises you to act now. Some of y'all may be putting off admitting that you're doing it or that you're in the wrong with something. You know, you're just in denial about you having a part to play in whatever this is that I'm picking up. Let's see. Gemini. Like y'all creating the ruckus, but then I don't want to deal with the backlash of the shit. Or want to and have something to write about and talk about. Almost like a publicity stunt type of situation. Queen of Bones. The Wheel of Fortune. The Fools. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all is writers. Some of y'all doing this shit so that y'all can build a platform. 
<laughs> captain. <laughs> Some of y'all, like y'all creating your own blockages to be able to cause the will of tower to change in y'all favor. And y'all end up as the fools. As zero. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You sound judgment at this time, Gemini. That's all I can advise. Because y'all up to something. Y'all cooking up something, honey. Queen of Bones. Y'all is cooking up something. The Queen of Bones is an ambitious, alluring leader who gets what she wants. That's what I said. I will not lose. That's what I heard before I hit record. The Queen of Bones is an ambitious, alluring leader who gets what she wants. She loves attention and gets it. Whether you find yourself fighting whoever or facing a more mundane battle, use ingenuity and determination to see you through to victory. Yeah, I, like, I feel like y'all playing magician right now. <laughs> Do your thing. I'm just saying. Use precautions. Okay. The rabbit's foot brings good luck to its owners, but when, but when it falls out of their possession, the former owner is cursed with bad luck. The cynical nature of fortune and fate can serve as both a hopeful reminder and a warning. Enjoy and appreciate the good times, and remember the bad ones won't last forever. Okay, I had a dream that I had lost my ID or something, or whatever the case may be, whatever I got back was faulty and it wasn't really what I needed and it was just sending me on a tailspin so some of y'all may have a rabbit foot or something you may even have ID keep your hands on your ID because if you lose it you know somebody gonna do some identity theft on some of y'all because I had the dream about somebody losing something out of their pocket or out of their purse so be mindful of that and make sure you call it in lost and stolen because somebody is going to get it and do some bullshit right away. That's for somebody. But anyway, y'all causing the wheel of fortune to turn in y'all favor. Y'all creating this entire dynamic. That's what I feel for whoever watching this. Knowingly or unknowingly, you playing magician right now. As soon as I said that, the magician came up. Because that's true. You're on the verge of a grand new adventure. While you may not be able to fully see all the twists and turns, monsters, magic, and demons awaiting you on this new path, have faith in its importance. Remember why you started this journey. It will carry you through to success. Yes. Like some of y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all know the exact shit y'all creating. And y'all wanted to create this type of effect. And y'all feel like y'all would not lose. But that's saying... Make sure you keep your eye on why you started so you don't get lost in the demonic forces and the shit that you're going to be seeing walking this new path that y'all created. And some of y'all did do it for marketing purposes, purposes, publicity, all that shit. Some of y'all may want to invest in a lucky rabbit's foot or something that's considered a lucky item and keep it on you from this time to where you go to where you're going because... Clearly, y'all playing magician right now. Y'all doing shit on y'all own terms. And y'all on some I will not lose shit. That's crazy, crazy. But it's true. It's for somebody creating their own blocks just to remove them and then to be told how great they are for removing the blocks that they set for their own self. That's deep. Trust in the divine, having a drink, radical change. Towers, y'all you know, call them every five minutes. Tower. Look at her. She's like, Tower. <laughs> you can keep going to zero. Y'all doing towers to cause the wheel to turn and take y'all back to zero so y'all can start us some motion. I mean, you don't get no crazier than that, boy. You always something else. 
And that's funny. I don't know who this is for, but this is funny. It's like I got time today. What we doing today? But y'all all doing it with a purpose though. Growth. Trying to trigger growth in your know, all kind of shit. It's like y'all experiment with your own selves. That's crazy, crazy. And all the characters in this story probably ain't even aware. Mm-hmm. Constant fighting. <laughs> Gives me some evil eye protection, Tori. Uh, that might be the the rabbit's foot type of vibe that y'all need. Because y'all going to be dealing with some shit. I'm telling you now. Then some of y'all be sitting like this. I'm just tired. Then switch off and be like, I'm so resilient, though. You know, just silly. Y'all are funny. This is funny. I can't keep up. That's all I can say. Some of y'all causing people to fight with y'all. Because y'all want to get something going. Growth within yourself and to build something. And they have no idea. They think you're so irresponsible and you ain't. Some of y'all doing this shit just to become the empress to get the responsibility that y'all know that y'all can handle. Y'all are the masters of y'all own fate right now. That's what they say to me. Y'all are responsible as hell. And people think y'all are just as crazy as the best. You need to get y'all life together. Not knowing that you the one causing all of this shit. You are literally a magician right now. And y'all know it. Yeah. People think the constant fighting the towers and shit is you being crazy, but it's you triggering shit to do, go that way so that you can create a certain dynamic to build yourself. It's like y'all got bored and just start doing shit in order to create a certain dynamic. Like Pisces was different. They did that, but they didn't like the dynamic they created. It was just too much for them because they so empathetic. Y'all are coming from an intellectual level, marketing, business, empire. Excuse me, life is boring. This is not going the way I want it. People really not paying attention to me. Okay, let me create a dynamic. People really don't. I hear that Drake song. Do, do they really know who they fucking with? <laughs> Y'all are like a mastermind. This shit. This is a mastermind shit. For real. Some of y'all got an empress, emperor energy. Y'all making them fight with y'all so that y'all can create a certain dynamic in the relationship to make y'all both more responsible and to put y'all out here as far as on this plat social platform. That's why I said be mindful of why you started the journey because you don't want to get lost in that shit. You know what I'm saying? For real. That's why some of y'all do need to invest in some evil eye protection because it's y'all going to hit some pit stops and some rolls with y'all to see them demons coming. You know, it's it'll be intriguing for y'all or for you and your person or just you by yourself. It's going to be intriguing. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Leo energy, Libra energy, or another Gemini. It's going to be intriguing, but don't lose sight of why you started. Mm -hmm. Stay grounded for some of y'all. This is funny. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Pisces, or some of y'all may be causing a person to fight with y'all just so y'all can grow from what they're doing so that y'all can make the wheel turn in y'all favor the quality and energy y'all really want to build an empire with. Mm -hmm. Y'all doing all kind of shit, but the shit that y'all doing is for, to benefit you, not to block yourself, but to benefit yourself. So you're causing the blockages and you're removing them all at the same time. I don't know who this is for. You could be doing that knowingly and unknowingly. Just know that somewhere in your bloodline, you have magician energy in your ancestral lineage. So some of y'all are natural magicians. Some of y'all do this shit and don't even know why you do that shit. But you come out on top of it every time. Yeah, like I said, this shit is like for marketing or something. Surrender to complete healing. Come on, at this time. Yeah, man. Some of y'all dealing with somebody that's really mentally ill. 
And y'all may be triggering them to fight. Or people may be calling y'all mentally ill because of how y'all moving. But y'all not. That's for somebody. For real. Some of y'all may have went on a total rampage just to shake up y'all life a little bit. Because it was too sedentary or boring or wasn't going in the direction that you envisioned. So you had to get a move on it. So you just start doing shit. And people think you fucking crazy or you dealing with somebody that actually is, but you saying you will not lose and they don't realize that you won't because you creating a dynamic to push them out and to bring in a whole nother quality and a whole nother energy. That's not crazy. But some of y'all do need to ground your energy and don't drink and eat everybody food because y'all on this thing. Y'all on something else right now. That's all I'm going to say. I fuck around and call this reading Gemini. Y'all on something else right now. Taking y'all destiny into your own hands is what it seems like to me. And people looking at y'all like, y'all lost y'all fucking minds. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all releasing y'all exes and calling in a more responsible energy. Like y'all, yeah. Some of y'all dealing with a hot coochie energy. Mm -hmm. This for males. Yeah. Male energies. Y'all want to call in a good girl or a good guy. That's for both female and male energies. Y'all want to call in somebody that's good like y'all. And y'all be creating these dynamics to push people to fuck out y'all life. Y'all be making them want to fight you. Making them want to do shit to come out of hiding. To show that they're really the ones that's crazy and it's not you. You're creating the dynamic to push this shit out of your life. So that you can keep getting to the zero. Oh, y'all doing some karmic clearing. That's what the fuck y'all are doing. Mm -hmm. And creating this whole ass scenario. Mm -hmm. And it's going to end up benefiting y'all on y'all, uh, on the professional side, on the financial side, and on the love side. Yeah, and some of y'all dealing with some hot ass coaches. And some of y'all been dealing with occult sciences, digging into the occult, learning about yourself. Being conscious that you're creating these dynamics, yeah, tapping into y'all supernatural powers. Yeah, some of y'all. Mm -hmm. Literally calling people, yay, Tammy. Some of y'all been listening to the whole show. That'll get it going. That definitely will get it going. Oh, <laughs> so it definitely get you going. <laughs> some of y'all, y'all is baby when I tell you. Mm hmm. Finding harmony, yep. The spirit said when you pour in this new energy, do not reshuffle. Don't start that game playing again. Because y'all is lit. Some of y'all, man, God is giving this to me so straight up and down. Some of y'all are literally causing people to show who they are. They moving slower than what y'all would like. So it's making y'all have to trigger them to want to come out and lash out at you. And fight you. Some of y'all are, it's out in the public. And y'all want people to see that it's them and not you. And y'all determined to do it. I will not lose. That's what I heard when I clicked on Gemini reading. I will not lose. I am responsible. I am not crazy. I don't like constant arguing, fighting, and bickering. I'm trying to create this dynamic. You know what I'm saying? That when I get my ideas going, when I make the right connections, and when I clean up all of this shit that I done created, so to speak, that I'm on the right side of history, basically. Find harmony. And y'all gonna call somebody in responsible that's gonna help you with these ideas that y'all got. And they're gonna be the right connection that you make and their energy, which is going to bring you better luck, rabbit's foot. Is going to bring in greater fucking connections. The right ones. Y'all determined to push this mentally ill person out and show who they are. It's like on some, they jump out the car naked fighting you like on that movie. And my one favorite movie, I can't even remember. Penelope Cruz. And uh, who was that? Was that Johnny Depp? I think so. Anyway, y'all doing shit to get this person to rile up at y'all. Because y'all know they all bark at nobody. So y'all calling them on their bluff. To show the good from the bad, the good from the evil. Y'all calling in better energy, you know? 
or some of y'all are in union with this energy and they are a good guy or a good girl just like you. People may think y'all crazy or whatever, but y'all are the masters of this. <laughs> y'all know everything that's going on. Y'all know exactly why y'all doing shit. Don't just don't lose sight of why you started it. You know? So somebody, Gemini, this is crazy. But it's interesting as hell. Because I can take it so many more angles. Keep finding harmony. Keep cleaning up the messes that you're making. <laughs> and you're going to show people that you're not crazy as they trying to say that you are, basically. All right, Gemini. This being your energy check up on who's blocking you. Gemini causing the blocks, removing the blocks. <laughs> All kind of shit. <laughs> Magical shit going on around here. All right, Gemini, love and light.